Okay guys, so you might be expecting the Solomon Grundy Earth 2 challenge mode. Well, it's actually not that video today. My plan is I might not even upload that video this week. I might upload it some other time. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to talk to you guys about how I make money in Injustice Gods Among Us today. Okay? I did this video maybe one, two years back. I can't quite remember, but I think it was just one year back. But things have changed since I actually had made that video. I don't use campaign or just battle mode to make money. I don't use survivor and I don't use online. So how do I make money in this game? Well, sometimes I use online, but only when I really need the character. And I don't even need the character half the time ever, really. But, here's what we're going to talk about. Alright, so here are the characters that I have currently ready to promo to level X, right? So, what I do usually is I try and wait till I have three promotions available to um, upgrade them to level X if I want to. Now, I'll tell you some of the characters that are actually ready for it. Uh, we've got Wonder Woman, we've got Solomon Grundy, this challenge character. We have... Batman Ninja Joker, we have Bane, Red Lantern, and I think that's about it. But anyway, the point is, if I had any extra characters, I would sell them and make money from that. That's one way I make money in this game. Same thing with maybe selling these support cards and upgrades and stuff, but currently I don't have any. But... That is probably the main source of the money thing. But I am going to show you another thing that I actually use to make money. So you guys might have heard this saying. you got to invest money to make money. And that kind of applies to this game too. And I'm going to show you what that means. Alright, so let me find a good battle. We're going to go skip these three battles. Well, four. And now, all I have to do with the bronze challenge character mode is just do those battles and be done with it. Same thing applies to this one here. Okay, these two always is 1000 until you reach the fourth battle. See, fourth battle right there. And you, you, you've invested $8,000 altogether. That's, that's a little bit of money, okay? That's usually what I would just do. I would just stop there and be done with it. But... I go even further. Considering I have a lot of money in this game, I don't really need to worry about making characters good in this character game now. So what I do now is I always tend to do this. I spend $10,000 on the silver challenge and I spend $10,000 on whatever challenge is right next to it. So that way, when I need to do these challenges, I only need to use two teams, just two teams for the entire thing of the uh, run, you know? So, basically that's it. And now, for the rest of the video, I guess let's just do some battles together, starting with these challenges. I'm gonna show you how quick these are, now that I've actually invested that money to getting more money. So, let's just do it, I guess. Let, oh, let me get a team ready, and we can get started. So I'm gonna show you mainly on the bronze challenge. So we're gonna start with that. And also, I just wanna get it done. So, let's go. So this is on expert mode. It's actually not on the um, uh, nightmare mode, which I, I believe that's what it's called. I believe it's called nightmare. But I have put the main gears on Deathstroke that I do. So now we shoot this one and then shoot Harley Quinn and boom. That's his quick battle done. But it's not the quickest I've done. Let's see if I can get even quicker than that. Okay, this one's not going to be a good example because it's random tagging, but... Yeah, anyway, let's let's just do some more of these battles. Uh, let's see, can I actually... Oh, Power Drain, nice. Power Drain. Tag out. Oh, oh, wow! I'm actually surprised on the damage there. Okay, so let's see what else we can get. Okay, please don't tag out. Okay, it did tag out, but I do have an idea. Okay, use that. Use a special one. Power Drain him. And now we go special two. 
to hopefully finish him off. There we go. That's basically it. For the whole duration of the battles, that's all I'm doing, okay? So, basically, if you got to, like, the sixth battle on each one, you would get a little bonus with the money. Sometimes you also get it on the, ten on the 12th battle or whatnot, but most of the time it's on the 6th battle, because it's halfway there. And for, like, the last challenge, it's, like, um, the 8th battle or something like that. Now, if you notice something, I actually didn't spend any money on the, ch on the last challenge. Well, I actually don't do that, because it costs a lot of money just to do one. And one only, co only costs about 30 grand. I wouldn't do that. I don't think it's worth it. So I, I, I have kind of like a threshold. Like I'd spend upwards of $1,000 to $5,000 on the, you know, on, on this whole thing. So, yeah. Anyway, this has honestly been pretty dang quick. I'm actually nearly finished with this. You've probably seen it too because I've actually done... Oh, God, no, 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 no. Okay, tag out as soon as I can. Oh god. Okay, at least we got this gun. Boom. Okay, get rid of you. And now get rid of you. Perfect. Perfect. That's all we want. Just easy battles. So, for example, if I wanted to sell one of those characters you saw like there, like uh, Insurgency Batman, but I probably won't, I'd make some more money off that. And another thing that's good about that promo X, once you got or once you got that character promoted all the way to level X, it's not gonna it's you're gonna make a lot more money from that character if you have extra ones of those characters. So like for example, if I had sold Last Laugh Joker, right, that I would have made like a hundred and fifty thousand, which is basically a challenge pack in itself. But when it comes to like um, challenge characters that I don't want to hit, to keep, like, I don't know, let's say, Hot Girl, um, Earth 2. Like, I'm not going to keep that character, and I don't think I'm going to promote it either. But if I wanted to sell it, I could easily sell it, but it won't sell for that much. But price doesn't really matter to me, because it all adds up at the very end of, you know, making money in this game. So basically, this is how I make money now. I don't really use campaign mode at all. So, yeah. Okay, go like this. This is going to knock him out. No, it's not. Okay. Okay, we use this one. You know what? I do not remember the last time I actually did that move. Okay, go for this. And boom, done. We're almost done with this actual challenge, actually, by the way, guys. So, yeah, we're on the last one right now. So we have our super move disabled, so that's not a problem. All right, let's take, let's take this guy down. Boom. Oh, my God, that guy was even dumber. And let's knock this guy out, too. You know, it doesn't even matter if he blocked it, eh? Because I could just use the special one after that. All right. But anyway, the point is, that's sort of like how I make money in my games now. Like, like obviously I'm not going to get a challenge for character, but anyway. Because um, I technically, I've got a good character set, so like, let me show you something, okay? So we've got promotion, we're going to go by the highest, and we're going to go over all these characters here real quick. Okay, so we've got 10, which is this one and, uh, sorry, this one, and uh, Jessica Cruz. And then we got, th that's 10 characters already. 11, 12, 13, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, 21. 21 characters I have at level X already. Not all of them are good, okay? Not a lot of these characters are good, but some, most of these characters are pretty good. And like I said before with the Insurgency Batman thing, that's going to be promoted to level X. And the only reason I'm doing Insurgency Batman is because of his passive, which is really good, actually. Anyway, I think that's going to wrap up the video for the day. If you guys did enjoy this video and you found it helpful, if you play Injustice 1, uh, leave a like on this video. I mean, this video is not really directed to people that are just starting the game. It's more for like people like me, people in the, that have already uh, done a lot in the game and 
you know, you just want another way of making money or whatnot, you probably already do this. So, yeah, this is how I make my money in Injustice 1. Uh, if you want me to do a video on Mortal Kombat or Injustice 2, I guess, leave, leave you know, down in the comment section. But if you guys enjoyed this, leave a like, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.